It's Heat 5. Tonight, the waters are infested with four predators on the hunt for blood. It's a format for people who likes to bluff, and I love to bluff. That should be favorite for sure. What are you doing? Come on. The goal is to put as many people in there as possible. I'm someone that needs to be taken seriously. Every show needs a villain. I know how to focus. That's a big skill in poker, I think. I'll lip some people off. I'll try not to swear. No! I knew it! I'm definitely feeling very much on top of my game now. You gotta go for it and try it out. So we'll see how that plays out. Look at his face. <laughs> Joining them, a sports star famous for beating his opponents into submission. Let's just clear the table and let's have a brawl. And our online qualifier, a new mother with a killer instinct. If the pros were here right now, I would wish them good luck because they're gonna need it. Welcome to sunny Barcelona, home to the fifth installment of the PokerStars.com Shark Cage. Four players have already locked up their seats in the final, and one more will be decided today, with the eventual champ banking the winner-takes-all prize of $1 million. And in this game, bluffing is key. This is how it works. If you successfully bluff the river and get your opponent to fold a better hand, then you'll send that player to the cage and they'll be out of action for an entire orbit. But if your bluff gets picked off, then you'll be spending some time behind bars, thinking about where it all went wrong. And to make matters even more interesting, there's a shot clock. Yeah, your hand is dead in 12 seconds. Players only have 30 seconds for each decision. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. While well, our sharks are eagerly assembled around the table for tonight's seat draw. She's got to be pretty nervous. She's in the cage by herself now. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it right there. You cannot be mean to her. She looks nice. Oh, she so looks nice. She oh, look she nice. looks nice now. So if she wouldn't have looked nice, she could have been? No, like if she looks, I don't know, like you, she's got like Like some, me, if she'd look like yeah. oh, She's got wow. some mean. zazz. Then you would be. It's a B word. What is it? You're looking uh, we're going to be very chivalrous and let the lady draw first. It's tough not to be sexist when they get all the advantages. If I send Igor to the shark cage, because I think he's probably the best player at the table, that would be nice. Only play with her once, I think, and know that she is quite a competitive woman. Griffin likes to talk a lot, that's for sure. I'm a six, there you go. Also a very talented player. I'm someone who plays a great deal of hands and can be very animated and very talkative at the table. We all want you to lose, I want you to know that, OK? <laughs> Card players, from what I've seen so far, are a lot like hockey players. There's going to be some, there's going to be some elbows thrown at this table. If I have the opportunity to, uh, to you know, embarrass him a little bit and throw him in the cage, you know, I'll get a great thrill out of that. As a hockey player, it's just the American dream in a way. I'm used to being in a cage, you know, whether it's the arena cage or the penalty box. All right. Five. Winner takes all goes well with my playing style. Jonathan beat me in my last event. I would love to throw him right into the cage. That would be just beautiful. I'm not looking forward to having Igor Kurganov at the table. He's going to be one that I'm going to be really watching really closely. Time to welcome the qualifier to the table. And she's a new mom. So for these guys, I guess that makes her a milb. Mother, I'd like to bluff. <laughs> Hi, Mom. My name is Zuzana Borosova. I'm 25 years old from Slovakia, and I'm a full-time mom and a part-time poker player. I've been playing chess for about 20 years, and I'm a woman grandmaster. I think what chess and poker has in common is that the games are ego battles. I realize that men tend to underestimate women uh, often, if not always, so I could have maybe advantage there. I applied for the shark cage because it was possibly the only way how I could uh, 
face the pros. I always dreamed that the one day I will play against them and that this was my opportunity to, for the dream come true. Zuzana's not just playing with poker pros, there's two professional athletes at the table and they're both hockey players. Why are, why are Slovaks so much nicer than Czech? Because I play, I play hockey. I played hockey. And all the Slovaks We used always... to be good, now we are kind of... Oh no, Slovaks good. But they're nicer, they're nicer. Like, the, the Slovaks are really, no, really nice. No, she's asking you whether you were good and now no, you're no, kind she of... Said, no, she said, oh. oh, is that what she was saying? I know what it was. All right, now, yeah, now I'm coming nice. after you. Yeah, yeah. Apparently there is no gender at the poker table. So everyone starts this heat with a million chips. Here we go. She's Going thinking it. about it. <laughs> yes, definitely. Solid starting hand. Ooh. It's a fold. What? Ace 10 is like a rook and a bishop or something. Raise. Raise. Fatima wants to play her king eight suited. I call. Jeremy Roenick is in. One thing you should know, JR does things JR's way. He's about as conventional as a lesbian wedding. Jeremy, I've Fatima put out a card, just so you know. You look out for it when she's changing. I don't think you do that yet. <laughs> You can't, she's joking. You're in trouble, man. I know. <laughs> he is in trouble. Wow, two pair for Fatima. Huge draw for Jeremy. Ice hockey versus field hockey, and the gloves could be coming off in the first minute. This one. I think she actually doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. She gets it. She's just having fun with the bluff value cards. She's just joshing you, bro. <laughs> What's going on over here? <laughs> What's going on? It's the hockey people, it's all about the punches. They should only be using those cards on the river. You can just throw them in. <laughs> it's both. I raise. I don't mind it. I raise. Be quick, buddy, you're on the clock. I'm gonna raise another 75. Jarrah would have a hard time getting anything decent to fold, but he could get some folds out of hands he's technically losing to. Right now, Fatima's gonna be harder to make fold than a fitted sheet. He has a flush draw and a straight draw, but she's a 58% favorite here. About 12 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, call, call, call. <laughs> Make a good joke, though. <laughs> Making it harder myself. I don't know if I did the right thing now. Huh. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable now. The turn card gives JL more outs, but Fatima's still a big favorite. We have seed two representing field hockey, and uh, we have seed four here. Trying to make a case for ice hockey here at the Shark Cage. 100. I'd like to represent tonsil hockey. So Jeremy follows up on his check race. Still don't think Fatima can fold. Actually, I know she can't. She calls. All right. And the cage is now in play. Now we do need those bluff value bet cards. Someone's going to the cage, that's for sure. <laughs> and Jeremy has nothing. Stop it. <laughs> Don't block me. You were one of those kids in school, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. He completely missed on the river. I got you, Jeremy. And now he's going to bluff. 150. Snap call. I call. Jeremy's going to the oh, cage! Oh, oh, Jeremy, we barely knew you! <laughs> I think I have it. You have it. I had to flush draw on the street. Did he go value? No, no oh. he went for a bluff, so we're gonna put him behind bars. Jeremy Roenick, two minutes, high sticking. <laughs> Look at that flop. <laughs> it, it's, it's only right that I'm the first one going to the Get in the, the box, 2 7. Come on. It's only right. <laughs> Five minute major. It's only right. Oh, no. It's gonna make him aggressive, right? How about that? Flush draw. Uh-oh, he's gonna go after me now. Flush draw. Come on, hit me with a spade. Where's the spade, dealer? Where's the spade? Boom! I like it. For your nose. Are you sticking it in my nose? <laughs> Did I break these? What do you expect? Jimmy Roenick in the cage. <laughs> I have to say, it's worse than being in, a, in an NHL penalty box. I turned pro at 18 years old, coming right out of high school. I burst onto the scene and became the 
the third highest scoring uh, American ever. I was extremely physical. You know, I have over 1,700 minutes in penalties. Uh, that's a lot for a goal scorer. It was 20 years of getting beat up and doing a lot of pounding. All the veterans, they'd, they'd collect in a room, about five or 10 of them, and they brought me along. They said, hey kid, why don't you come join the poker game? They gave me the bug, they got me hooked. I know I'm not gonna leave with them saying that I wasn't a good player. Let's just hope I leave on top. This is literally the longest JR has ever been quiet for. Just enjoy it. You guys could check around again like that. That was good. Oh, you're still in there. I'm still here. Oh. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you're it's in the big blind, blind now. This is a button bully right now. It's a button bully. <laughs> I can't hear it's you. It's like a heads up punt. Okay, raise. Okay. Raise so you made it Just so small. you know, I'm putting this card out here. See, now I call. Oh, interesting. As long as Igor's cards had two letters and or numbers on them, he was calling. Fatima's ace high is still ahead. Check. Fatima can't hate this board. Fatima now an even bigger favorite. I will try out something new with this hand, mm -hmm. which is something I think which is good and I'm allowed to do, right? I fold. Yeah. <laughs> really? Ah. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll be nice. You don't want to be bluffed on the river. <laughs> no, I, I, it wasn't going to be a bluff. I'm not calling. <laughs> no, no, no. Hurry up with that. Hurry up, dealer. Are you chilling there? Is it nice? It's it's it it, it, it doesn't it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Had to be the first one in the box. Huh? Yeah. If this game doesn't go well, we can always clear the table. We'll go for a brawl. I like my chances <laughs> then. When I get out of this cage. I'm gonna wreck that table. I feel like a caged animal in here. The sports stars are going to war here at the PokerStars.com Shark Cage with NHL legend Jeremy Roenick getting caged by Olympic gold medalist Fatima Moreira de Melo. Are you chilling there? It sucks. It's been a tough penalty orbit for JR, who's eager to get back to the action. Who's got that butt? I'm gonna wait for the pot to get to me. <laughs> All right, hang in here. You guys are doing this on purpose. All right, Ronick, get back in there. Okay, I gotta roll up my sleeves now. What does that mean? That means I have a long way to come back. <laughs> Field hockey rules, ice hockey drools, poker somewhere in the middle. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Where you thanks, thanks for sending me there, by the way. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Remember, the cage is not just a humiliation exercise. You also lose chips while you're standing in there. Kind of like when you get fined for slashing a guy. There's big money up for grabs in this event. A million dollars to the winner. And that's a big hand for Fatima. Me or you? <laughs> wait, wait, it's on you. Oh, oh, you're going to keep him because you're putting him down properly. I can tell. Sick read. Eagle calls Fatima's race. <laughs> I call. Maybe they're allowed to do that. She calls, she calls, <laughs> she calls. I'm cool. I've called hands. You're allowed to look annoyed on your chest, right? When the other. <laughs> <laughs> when someone takes too long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Top pair for Fatima. She starts best, flops best. Usually she'd bet here. Check. Nope. Huh. She's trying to get Igor to bluff at it. He has a straight draw. And he is going to oblige her. 62. Guess it's more of a semi bluff with that straight draw. His hand does have some potential. Susanna has folded. That's a reverse quick call. You actually wanted to quick call. <laughs> You know what's up. <laughs> oh my god, it's true, look at her. <laughs> Fatima now with two pack. For sure. <laughs> oh my god. Igor might think his only shot at this is to double barrel and try to set up a river bomb. Maybe put Fatima in the cage. He 
you that's big. And once again he gets cold. Wow, things just got real. So the cage is now in play. And Fatima Rivers a full house. I love the way Fatima's playing this perfect short cage strategy. Let your opponent try to bluff you, send them out of here. Igor's clock is running. And if he's putting out a card, that means he's making an aggressive action, and that's gonna be a bluff. And that bluff ain't gonna work. I'm all in. I call. He shoves and gets snap called. Oh no, it's a one handed Ace call. Queen for aces full of queens for Fatima. King ten Time. For king high. <laughs> Smell you later, Kurgles. King ten of clubs for king high. Thanks, man. Let's <laughs> go. Right. We're playing with the German here. You get one. Ah, oh, damn it. Wow. Unlucky, buddy. As Igor's eliminated, he doesn't have to go in the cage. A nice girl at the end. <laughs> Playing with you. I'm gonna miss you though, Enjoy Igor. Yourself. I'm gonna miss you. Thank you. I get these, guys. Are you are a shark? Fatima still gets her bonus for calling <laughs> Igor's bluff. I'm gonna fit my good. <laughs> Each chip worth an extra 100k if Fatima makes the final. She's getting there. She's even if she's not there, she's getting there. It's got to change. It's got to go the other way soon. I hate to tell her where those bonus chips have been before. I have a question. Is it his big one? His yeah. big one. Your big, big one? one? Yeah, race. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> I'm going to get out of the way, man. <laughs> Never wanted a good hand better more than right now. <laughs> Ooh, Fatima's got jacks. Griffin might get stacked by the hockey player he didn't even know was there. Clever girl. I'll remember that one. <laughs> oh, I hope you do. Griffin's a huge hockey fan. Don't leave me with her. Come on. <laughs> I was trying to make sure know, you didn't leave me with her. What are you doing? It's like you're punishing me by folding. Oh, I'm leaving you with her. <laughs> Not the hockey player he wanted to go head-to-head -head with. Jack's still way ahead. Lovely flop for Jack's. 41. Griffin making a continuation bet. Doesn't go anywhere. Not interested. I'm just glad it's you right now, not me. <laughs> Fatima's now a 93% favorite. Still an awesome board for Jax. Griffin slows down on the turn. We're going to the river. The cage is in play. Griffin pairs his two. It gives him minimal showdown value, so he probably won't bluff at this. Oh, come on, Griffin. Play the bluff card. Oh, Fatima is hot right now, and she's making a lot of hands. That's the Where best hand every time. No yeah, river bluff. I guess I was wrong about that change. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you were. Well, the 2008 Olympics in Beijing uh, were my last Olympics. It was the last out of three. So we ended up winning the gold against home nation China, uh, which was an awesome experience. It was a nice way to end my career. I was 30 years old. I was done. It was all like a big completed circle. I've experienced a lot of pressure in my life, but we would share the pressure, <laughs> which was way easier than in poker. You have to deal with all the mistakes you make by yourself as well. You can't blame anyone else. That was the biggest transition for me, just realizing that I really had to be my best and every moment counted. Everyone always thinks that when you're competitive, you want to beat the other person, and that's what it's about. Even they are afraid of you. They're not. I am. Whereas in my core, it's just that I want to overcome myself. What a personality. Really good charisma. I mean, she's got a hockey player mouth, that's for sure. <laughs> If you're an athlete, you just want to put down good results and be the best that you can be. Fatima drops more F-bombs in the Wolf of Wall Street. Back at the table, Griffin's kicked things off with a race. 
Who was someone you had like the best chemistry with, like line wise? Tony and Monty. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay. Yeah, me and Tony. Pretty, just yeah. Peas in a pod. Me and Keith Kachuk. He makes the call. Yeah. Wow. Mark Recchi. Wow. Jonathan Those are good players. I played with some great players. It's not so much me as it is Ronick. Remember that line from Swingers? That was about him. Well, Jonathan called Griffin's race. He still has the best hand, but. Ah, there's always a but. There's statistical dead heat after this flop. 45. Griffin bets with his open ended straight draw. Do it, Jonathan. Do it. Do Simon. Do it slowly. He calls. Jonathan, now a 68% favorite with ace high. But it might be tough for him to call a second barrel. Griffin elects not to bet again. We're going to the river. Power up the cage. Jonathan still with the best hand. He checks for a third time. And Griffin absolutely knows his only chance of winning this hand is to bluff it. He bets huge. And here comes the bluff card. Griff Tannen is calling Marty McDuhamel a chicken. Well, if Jonathan folds here, He's going in the cage, but if he calls, he'll put Griffin behind bars. Great, Scott! Well, I don't want to be in the shark cage, that's for sure. So I'm not going to get bluff. I'm very claustrophobic, and I'm, I don't like the isolation, so I'm going to try to stay out of there as much as possible. Well, one of them's going in, so who will it be? I need to know! Before the break of the PokerStars.com shark cage, Griffin Benger put Jonathan Duhamel to the test with a bluff on the river. Can Jonathan find the call to avoid the cage? Well, time is running out for Jonathan. All right, I'm going to the cage. Yes, you are. Show the bluff, Griffin. Nah. Jonathan folded the best hand. What are you Jonathan doing? <laughs> Come on. I got to throw up a little over yeah. bet there. Come on. <laughs> I don't want to go. Howdy, <laughs> boy. Jeremy, can you, can you show him where he's supposed to go? Yeah, come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Come on. Out of my face. Come on. Out of my uh, face, Habs fan. Let me to hold your hand. Come All right. On. Let's go. Come on. Let's let's go. go. Come on. Come on. Come on. And hold he was hand. thinking he was having such a nice convo with you. And Come on. I'll show you. I like that cage. See, it's good not to you look use, at all the use. people looking at you. That's, you a, that's a good thing. Don't look at all the people looking at you. It's a terrible feeling. That's not good. That's not good. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. That's so mean of you. Mean. You're mean. John's a good friend, but we're not that good friends. <laughs> well, Griffin, you're really doing that to me, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. I can't, you're all the way over there. Hey, listen, give me a call. You have my number, right? Berg. It was just so much fun throwing someone in that cage and just watching them wallow. My goal was to try to send people in the cage, not go out there. Oh, so gratifying, just because he was actually genuinely, like, bothered by it. I thought he was my friend. Now he pulled up bluff with 6-4 offsuit. What's going on? He had a big smile on his face, but he was like, God, you actually got me. Am I out of here? I want to get out of here. When you're in the cage, you're just waiting and waiting, and you just want to get back to the table and you keep on playing. But it seems like the hands just take forever. Hurry up, guys. It's OK. Chill out. Sit down for a while. Yeah. yeah. While you take all my blinds, huh? Oh. When I get out of this cage, I'm going to send Griffin in the cage. Let me out of here. I want to get out, please. That's enough. That's enough for today. All right, all right. <laughs> Just got to ask, right? All right. All right. Let's get him now. Fun's over. Let's play some poker for real. <laughs> oh, there he is. All right. Bienvenue, Jonathan. Oh, man. You're in trouble, man. I'm going to get you. Oh, no. He's going to come after me with his 12 chips, girls. Please help me. <laughs> <laughs> he has 12 chips. He's going to get me. 
Time to play a hand from Griffin's perspective. We're going in the tank with Griffin. Shark cage, Griff Finn. I see what you did there. A raise from Fatima. Griffin's hand. King Queen. I like this hand. It's the perfect hand to just call with. Call. Let's see if our qualifier, Susanna, calls as well. I really can't. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Well, Fatima currently has half the chips in play. It was always supposed to end this way, Fatima. I know. I love you too. <laughs> this is so us. You're the us. greatest. I hate it when we fight. Ah, uh, me too. It's so us. Let's go through the shark cage together. <laughs> Let's just do it. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Second pair for Griffin. Check. There she is. No sea bat weird. He knows a straight drawer as well. Oh, come on. What? It's just no ace-10, relax. Boom! Jesus. He's calling? You're calling? Yeah. Why? You have outs, you have outs, right? You have, like, uh, oh back boy. door? You have back door? So just a pair of queens for Griffin. Remember to put in the card thing. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky check. It was a cheeky check. For our hand, this board is kind of like The Walking Dead. I like it, but it's also a little annoying. We really don't want Fatima to bet here. <laughs> there we go. She's betting, but is it a bluff? See what happened when you mess with a team pro? That's what happens. I think we have to call. Queen's gonna be the best hand here a lot, and there's that extra incentive for Fatima to try to bluff the river, send us to the cage. Why wouldn't she see that? If you fall, you go into the cage. If you call, you go into the cage. Seconds. Actually, we can't go to the cage if we call. Griffin's time is running out. Three. He's folded. Send him. Send him. Fatima had two pair. It was a value bet. How do you know? He always know. Because Griff's got the sports almanac. That's how he knows. I think that I can recognize a lot of the time whether the best play is to kind of like be the jovial, goofy guy and kind of just like brings people's guards down. The fine print when I signed everything, they didn't say you're going to be this this aggressive and this just winning every hand. You're needling me. <laughs> also, I can come in, you know, sort of like the intimidating presence where you know I'm someone that needs to be you know taken seriously. Forty-five. Before poker, I used to be a professional uh, Counter-Strike player, um, and I used to travel the world playing uh, Counter-Strike with uh, pretty much four of my buddies and make a marginal living at it for a while until uh, kind of poker kicked down my door and said, you know, this is, this is what you should be doing next. This particular environment, especially where it's a winner-take-all scenario, that's what I'm really excited about on a professional level, is to really challenge myself to, you know, make that big move or, or make that big call and make that stand. I think that's, that's a really exciting prospect for me. Well, Griffin's currently second on the leaderboard. Fatima still has the big chip lead, and Jeremy is the short stack. Remember, it's a million bucks for whoever wins the final. Queens for Fatima. Hello. She raises. Jeremy's got aces. Good call. Deceptive just call, and I guess it's only fitting that the ice hockey player has the advantage when it comes to cold decking. Another pocket pair. Jonathan with fours. This would be a bad spot for Jonathan to try and get weird. 175. He re-raises. He got weird. This should work out great for JR. Susanna with nines? Oh no, this is going to be a shame. Not the qualifier. She has a baby! She's moved all in. Here comes Fatima, about to do the same. Enough to put everyone else all in. Whoa. That call. Wow. More pairs than Fatima's shoe closet. Just kidding, that would be like 400 pairs. But at least Jonathan can get away now. No way the qualifier is shoving with worse than this. Come on, Jonathan. At this rate, the clock's going to tick down to zero and we'll fold the hand for him. And that's exactly what happens. Dead. Can we open? Three hands. No, you guys are playing. 
No, she's oh, all oh, in. she's all in. Oh, sorry. Turn him up. Jeez. Here we go, guys. Oh, Come on. on. For the sake of the people who built this set, I hope JR's hand holds up. There's a nine. Oh, there oh, she my is. God. Look at that cold-blooded. She doesn't even flinch. Snapped. I knew it. Mindset, JR. Mindset. Mm-hmm. Susanna's set to survive and more than double up. Come on, Ace, show it. Ace of spades first. <laughs> How do you lose on aces? Told this you. way. I this told is the you. way. The river card is a seven. Jeremy Roenick eliminated in fifth place, and Susanna wins a huge pot. Thanks, man. Nice playing with you. Good to see you. Good hit. Good hit. He would know. Oh my God. Ah, that's painful. That's unlucky, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. The way the cards are going, just I had a bad feeling, just it came over me, and it's sure enough, Susanna's nine hits on the flop, and I'm like. Good hit. I always love meeting other well, former athletes. Just the surprise of Jeremy Roenick, like that was so special for me. Just the fact to have him uh, sitting beside you and playing poker with you. The career that he had, you know, playing hockey is pretty amazing. I enjoyed it a lot. I love the banter. Is it his big one? Yeah, race. <laughs> I'll remember that one. Susanna, she was pretty quiet, pretty serious. I think she's going to start playing really aggressive when it gets down to two people. She's going to go after it. Susanna's got to be in a really good spot now after nearly tripling up. Well, she's facing a raise here from Griffin Benja. Oh, Oh, we like that one. And that one, not as much. Okay, take it. Mama. She's calling. <laughs> Susanna, the slight favorite. Come on. The flop is 955, ace high still ahead. She's still the favorite, but Griffin's got experience on his side. He raised it pre-flop, and he continues for 100,000. She calls. Well done so far. Way to take one off with Ace High. Four on the turn. She now has a straight draw. Will Griffin fire again? Nope. He goes to the river. The shark cage is in play. It's an ace. Top pair for Susanna. He's not thinking of betting this, is he? If he is, he must think of rages mostly pairs he can get to fold. Pair of aces, not one of them. Time's running out. There's the bet. And he does put out the bluff card. Nicole. Susanna calls, so it's time to lock up Griffin. Going to the cage. Griffin Benger, more like Griffin Ben Dunn sent to the cage. Nice one. Oh, shade King High. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm in the cage. Going to the cage, yeah, right? Yes, oh, yeah, he is. Oh, yes, he is. We are going to send Griffin. It's fun playing with you, man. Griffinho. So it's just three hands, right? Uh, four hands. Four hands? Hey, Griff, I'm fun over there. there. Yeah, I will. Jonathan left the magazines for you. Good, yeah, please. Yeah. <sighs> She calls me the ace high pre? Come on, she should just shove on me. I don't make that mistake. Boom, headshot. Oh my God, it spins and everything. <laughs> Keep it up, buddy. What? You're doing great. This is so lonely and isolating. They were right. It's funny, the women haven't been to the shark cage yet. It's true. It's just, you know, just putting it out there. You need to knock when so you lucky. say such things. I know, I've, I've knocked on my, it's wood. <laughs> Wood. I miss you guys so much, it hurts. <laughs> Zuzana has arrived. I could tell right away that Susanna was a very uh, calculated uh, player based off her history as a grandmaster chess player. Having that uh, kind of chess brain that she has, that background, uh, it helps her, you know, with the decision that she has to make. You're allowed to look annoyed during chess, right? When the other. <laughs> She was pretty nervous, though, in the beginning, but she didn't let it get in her way. 
Nicole. Going to the cage. Nice one. She knows how to handle herself, and she just falls back on that, I think. So uh, she has a threat on the table. Have you got what it takes to put a shark behind bars? You can qualify for Series 2 of Shark Cage at PokerStars.com. At the PokerStars.com Shark Cage, online qualifier Zuzana Barashova seems to have it in for the Canadians. First, she sent Griffin Benja to the cage, and just after his return... No! She dispatched Jonathan Duhamel to the rail, leaving her in a strong position as the fight for a seat in the final heats up. And right now, the girls are on top, and Griffin is the short stack. By the way, now we're down to three players. The shark cage is no longer a factor. Ah, sad clown. Queen 10 suited for Susanna. She raises her button. Fatima with ace 10 suited. Both with pretty hands. She calls. All right, Neil. Get the babies ready for me to kiss. All right. Might be my time. All Griffin ready. all in with a seven. <laughs> <laughs> Susanna can't call. I would love to call him, you know. I know, I she wants to finish to. me. But what if, if you are sitting there in aces or something? Ugh. You have the other two ones? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got the King Jack, Fatima? She's got the domination nation, and you're an enemy of the state. Griffin at risk and way behind. He did predict this would happen. You're in trouble if I hit here. I want you to know She's getting ready for the hug. She wants to say goodbye. Yeah, I am. I'm putting right my down. shirt in my pants, I'm getting ready. <laughs> what does that mean? No Please. All right, let's see the A little bit of bull. <laughs> seven, no. seven, eight, Jack. Seven, eight, Jack. Seven in the door. Oh, what the six, six Jack. Jack? Griffin down to two percent. It's a bad flop for me. I'm ahead. Well, all right. I need a jacket. To, <laughs> give me a jacket so I can jinx it. Anyone have a jacket I can throw on? All my hopes and dreams. How about a straight jacket? Uh huh. Oh, Get it. A little bit of hope for Griffin. I just... Ocho! <laughs> no, 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 Ocho. no, no, no! Hey, hey. No! Ocho! Hey! No! Hey. No! I'm Ocho. nervous. You're a 90% favorite. These are the hands you have to win, you know? Time. I need time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stretching. Come on. Ugh. No, I'm taking it back. I can't, right? And the river card is an eight. Oh, <laughs> I was I gonna celebrate it. if I didn't hit it too. Oh. You still want a hug? No, you're I okay. Knew right. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it too. It's a good That's life. why I was it so is. nervous. It is. Oh. It's funny because I celebrated before I saw it to and... screw with you, and then it was the eight. <laughs> oh. Positive reinforcement. I'm telling you. Incredible. Incredible. I mean, I didn't have a doubt. I did actually. No, like you a didn't jack have a doubt. A, I know, uh, I know. That's how you run. Beautiful. I knew it too, you know. You would have been in great shape, you know, like. I would. I was in great shape. We're gonna have a lot of chips. Ugh, you know. You're gonna be heads up. You would have been in London. I mean, she's playing great, but that, that was a big spot for you. She knows, dude. What room were you in? <laughs> what room were you in? Oh, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Listen, honestly, whatever happens here today, I just want you to know. That you love me, I know. I was cheering for Argentina, too. <laughs> <laughs> <How the f> <laughs> yeah, there was a bit of banter going on between Griffin and me, and I think it's because we both know we can handle it. Miss, can you make some change, please? Yes, Thank sir, you. of course, of course. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of needling and a lot of teasing. Floor, What's you going sure on? changed me. Yeah, yeah, she owes me 50,000. You know, maybe at a few points I was, I was, I was pushing pretty hard and then like I'd kind of pull back a bit because I was just like, oh, like I'm, I don't want to be like rude to her or anything. I'm just trying to like, you know, get under her skin a little bit. What are you talking about? I don't owe you anything. It's supposed to be a professional oh, okay, environment. Here you go. Here you go. It's okay. 
I think Griffin is just very sincerely needling all the time, like, like me. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. 403, Fatima. I'm in room 403. Well, even though he doubled up, Griffin is still the short stack at the table. Ace King. Don't do it. Don't. You have so much, you don't need to. Yeah, he does. How much is, is it? I call. Really? You got me? I don't know. Nobody's got it. It's a race, like video games versus sports. <laughs> well, I'm sitting down. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, I really wanted to slow you there. I really wanted you to have like ace jack. I'm very calm. <laughs> I'm very calm. Meh. This is, this is, this is like 900. I'm very calm. It's bad news if you lose this. If I have two million, whew. She is not happy. And I have all my time bank chips. Very calculated. I'm being calm. Yeah? I feel like a king on the flop. I'm being calm. We know she didn't fold an ace. I mean, she was right out of the way, so. I mean, my, my, my outs are there. I'm going to calm. We got it. Good luck, sir. Hey. Jack's a slight favorite as we go to the flop. Bigger favorite now. Cocky. Griffin needs an ace or a king to survive. He's drawing to six outs on the river. Make sure you finish your drink or don't, don't break the glass when it comes, okay? It's a king! A king. He does it again. I there was never a doubt. Oh, yes. I was so calm, too. I know, that was good. That was good. 895. Every show needs a villain, Fatima. You'll get me eventually. I'm feeling drained. <laughs> I guess Griffin's this show's Walter White. He is the danger. And Fatima, the one time chip leader, is now the table short stack. Susanna is the chip leader. And Griffin is sandwiched in between them. I'm all in. Susanna shoves on her with King Jack. Fatima's got King three. Yes. Should I? Should I? Sadly, with her stack, yes, she should. She's very short. Can't go folding the king with seven big blinds. Ten seconds. Time bank. <laughs> Uh, I call. And a call! Ah. Oh. Painful. Some people like the pain. Fatima, a big underdog. Susanna, set to go heads up against Griffin. And he would love for Fatima to go broke here. The flop gives us plenty of chopportunities. Queen, please. Or three. The turn card to 10, that's a straight for Susanna. I could still get there. Fatima drawing to a chop. Always brutal when you're rooting for a chop. It's like when you hope the cop only got you for running the red light, not for doing 65 and a 20. The river card is not a jack. Fatima's out. Thank you. Good luck, good luck. Thank you. Thanks, man. You played so well, you played so well. Good luck, man. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, coming, coming. The one woman wrecking crew herself. It feels great to be heads up with uh, Griffin. She has a major chip lead, but it can change quickly, right? To be perfectly honest, I'm a little intimidated by Susanna, pretty much because of how she's, I guess, shattered my expectations. I'm really excited about being one step away from the final table. I'm rooting for Susanna! One step away from the final table and a decent shot at a million dollars. Susanna with the chip advantage as we go heads up. Griffin on the button in the small blind with suited connectors. All in. And he shoves. Applying the pressure early. It's a pretty loose shove, but if he gets called, he's usually going to be live. Susanna does have the best hand. Queen high. But calling here would be pretty wild. I call. I call. Wow, big call from Susanna. And if her hand holds up, she is going to London. Griffin's sixes and sevens are live, but his spades are not. 
Nice call. Thank you. Nice call, nice read. There is a six on the flop. Griffin takes the lead. Bad flop for Susanna. Frustrating. All you can do is get it in good. Griffin now a three to one favorite to double up. She was on the verge of victory. And then that six hit. Susanna looking for a queen or an eight on the river. Any other card and we play on and Griffin will have a huge chip advantage. It's another deuce. He gets the double up. Griffin is running better than the 93 Blue Jays. Oh, Susanna. Hell of a call. She is not messing around, and I am a lucky boy. Susanna is left with fewer than 10 big blinds. All in. Griffin shoves on her. She's got jack eight. She might just have to go for it here and hope she's live. A call. A reluctant call. She's going for it. Griffin won with live cards before. She's not that big of a dog now. 35%'s a decent shot. She looks defeated. She probably will be. Griffin, a two to one favorite to win this hand and advance to the final. Both hit the flop. Griffin hits harder. Susanna does have nine outs. Nine of spades. <laughs> I'll take that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> or jack of spades. The turn is the four of hearts. Doesn't reduce her outs, at least. Any jack, any nine, any eight. It's a three. Griffin wins heat five. Susanna is the runner-up. Brick, Brick, Benger. You played so well. You have to feel for Susanna. She got so unlucky. It's Griffin who's going to London. Momentum, it just comes in these swings. And, uh, and you know, I, was, I got really lucky down the stretch and I came back. And the fact that I was able to, you know, continue to run good and, and get some momentum is, you know, I, I feel very, very blessed. If I won that uh, hand, I'll be going to London. I'm just really happy that uh, I was here today, that I played in the shark cage. Going to London to play for a million, it is great, but there's only one of us going to be able to do it, and I don't know who the other players are, but I can guarantee you that uh, they're, you know, they're probably as good or better than me. So I need to, you know, temper my expectations and just really think about how much fun it's going to be to play this 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 format again. So Griffin Benger joins Bill Perkins, Vicky Corrin, Phil Gruesome, and Gareth Coles in the final. Next time, things get loud. I'm loving to see Jason Mercier in the Hurt Locker. Woo, game time, baby! It's rare that you're not the best dressed person at the table, Liv. I'm not talking about Jason, by the way. I really don't want to end up in that chair cage. <laughs> I look so stupid on TV. <laughs>